Hello and welcome to my channel. So I've been playing today a game, a game named Poncho. It is, it is fun. It had like an amazing intro, and so the opening is just it's really complicated. And in this game, you're like a little roboter running around trying to revive your dad, master, or whatever he built you. And humanity has fallen at this point, and you kind of have to do some stuff, get some find something, I don't know, in order to do this. So you pretty much run through the way like all the things. At the start there's really not much to do, there's just running and jumping a little bit with spacebar. Um, I sadly couldn't like install a game in, in English, sadly only let me in German. Um, so yeah, I there, there, this game is this game is is quite complicated sometimes, and it it's really cool. It's it's like, like this little thing. I just wonder who, what, like what the creator of this game thought, and what 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 did he think? That that's really my question. So here can, here you can see um, after an unknown music, you can pretty much fall down. And yeah, start jump, still jump around, and whenever you like touch these blocks, there will another appear. Um, yeah, but it's mostly in the start. Like later on, there won't be too much of this, as far as I know. Then there are these buttons. These buttons, these buttons are pretty cool. They can like move stuff, and, and you know, you can see that I didn't know what's going on at the start. So I kind of got in, and I kind of noticed that you can like change the places. You can go forward, backward, and whatnot. So it's it's pretty cool. It's cool to design. I've I've never played like something like that. And these little things you had to collect collect there. I don't think they gave anything to you. They were just like a goal. So thanks to this going up and down and stuff, you were able like to join to go further and to to complete all of us and whatnot. It was really fun to do. And yeah, sometimes you had to jump in order to do it and the game got com more complicated with every second. Um yeah. So you can see here that they started the time limit, and yeah, that is a little bug. Um, it didn't reset my original pawn, normally it would set me back, but yeah, I had to restart the game for that. So the, later on you find some kind of portal like this, and you pretty much have to press enter in order to get into it. So like this you were able to complete the level. But sometimes there's very some strange things coming. I'm I'm seriously not sure if this of the crater. Uh, I don't think this guy was clean. Um, sometimes it's just scenes like this came, and yeah, it doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't make any sense. It's fun to watch. I'm gonna say that. So. Then there is the world map that is coming now, here. So, they're pretty much the maps you can play. You can see what you can collect, what keys and whatnot. And, yeah, then came the real complicated stuff. Yeah, these things. They're really complicated, I can tell you that. Sometimes it took me a while in order to complete stuff. These are one of the very easy ones. Later on, it became really, really hard. Uh, after a while I, I gave up with some stuff, I don't know, I will probably play it later, um, I haven't played the game too much. And yeah, especially like here, here is it really hard. Yeah, I really had to time your stuff and then never like areas. It was just insane how hard it was. So, um, yeah, and one last thing I want to show there, it's, it's, you could like change the walls there too and, and it's just amazing. So, yeah, overall this game is, is pretty fun, it's $15 on Steam, um, you might want to get it, it's, it's pretty fun. Hope you enjoyed watching this video, so hopefully I will be making more videos in the future too. Um, 
I haven't had that much time on in the past few days, weeks, but hopefully I will be able to make more videos right now. So yeah, see you next time.